Hi everybody, and um, welcome to my garden this time. Um, sorry I'm narrating this, the wind <laughs> noise was terrible. Um, so here's my 50 watt monocrystalline panel which I've taken off the shed roof for the moment. Um, and it's connected through to my old PWM charge controller and a small lead acid battery. Uh, and he's charging away happily, but here's a new project I've been working on. Um, this is an Arduino uh, you know, and uh, using a relay um, and a battery sensor, I've decided that I could use my energy a bit more. So, this through this relay, the um, panel sorry connects straight into the relay, and then we can switch to the panel to either the PWM charge controller or this new grid tie inverter. So it is working, the LEDs I'm afraid are very dim there, but that is feeding power into my grid for 3 watts off 50 watt panel. Um, so using this little book converter, I can change the voltage going into the system, at the moment it's 13.8, and I can use a screwdriver and bring that down to about 12, 12 and a half volts, and that will turn off the relay. And now, that says 12.4, and now the grid tie converter is off, it's no longer feeding the grid, and my charge controller is charging the battery. And if I raise that voltage again, um, past about 13.5 volts, the relays turn on, and we start feeding the grid again. watts from the 50 watt panel perched on a chair. So this, um, the LEDs indicate green is when it's in automatic mode, uh, yellow is for charge controller and red is for grid tie inverter and as you can see I've got some buttons so I can change the mode manually. Uh, this would be better as a sliding switch, but I didn't have one that went on my breadboard, so I've just used those for now for demonstration purposes. So, when my uh, panels have completely filled my battery, they can now feed the grid. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment and share.